Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IES. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your prelims as well as mains. So in this video we will be talking about our current affair MCQ series in which, which what we do we daily discuss your MCQs from current affair perspective. So today is 12 November so let's see what are the questions for today. So the first question is consider the following countries. Australia, India, South Korea, United States. So we have to choose that which of the among, uh, above are among the partners of RCEP negotiations. So please friends note this word, uh, this, uh, this is RCEP negotiation and not RCEP uh, agreement. So all these countries were the partners. <coughs> So the answer should be uh, not sorry not United States was not its partner Australia India and South Korea uh, were, were also uh, were these uh, RCP uh, negotiators. So the answer should be B. So this is in context of editorial in the Da Hindu. So RCP the RCEP is a, is basically ASEAN centered proposal for a regional uh, free trade area which would initially include the 10 ASEAN member states and those countries which have existing FTAs with ASEAN that is uh, Australia, China, India, Japan, Republic of Korea and New Zealand. So more details uh, you can read by pausing the video. Now let's move on to the next question. Next is consider the following acts. First Hindu Marriage Act, second Special Marriage Act, third Prohibition of Child Marriage Act 2006. So we have to choose that which of the above uh, acts regulate age at marriage in India. So friends let me tell you that all these acts uh, provide a minimum age for marriage. So the solution is D. Uh, so this is this question is in the context of recent study which has noted uh, lowering the age of consent uh, for, uh, uh, for girls and boys. So currently for the girls uh, the minimum age at marriage is 18 and for the boys it is 21 uh, legally. So now let's move on to the next question of the day. Next question is which of the following countries share borders with Jordan? First Iraq, second uh, sorry first Iran, second Iraq, third Israel, fourth Saudi Arabia. So we have to choose uh, the correct answer. So let me tell you friends answer is uh, Iran and Israel. So uh, answer is C. So you can see here the Jordan. So uh, this is your uh, Jordan that is shown on your screen. So Jordan uh, with it uh, there is a Jordan to retake. Jordan has decided to uh, retake uh, the land that it has le uh, leased that, uh, that 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 is leased to Israel. So you can check this map and can uh, can uh, uh, mark your answer. So now let's move to the next question of the day. Next is consider the following statements about the building of Indian Parliament. First, it was designed by the British architect Sir Edwin Lutyens and Sir Herbert Baker. Second, the circular structure is believed to be inspired from Chosath Yogani Temple. So which of the above statements is are correct? We have to choose that. Friends, let me tell you that both of these statements are correct. Uh, so uh, this building of Indian par Parliament was designed by Sir Edwin Lutyens and Sir Herbert Baker. <coughs> yeah. Yes, it is believed that uh, uh, this circular structure of the parliament was inspired from uh, uh, from Chosoth Yogini temple. Now let's move to the next question of the day. Next question is consider the following statements related to Rabha tribe. First, they are present in the state of Madhya Pradesh. Second, the Rabha language is a member of the Tibeto Burman uh, Burman language family. So we have to choose that which of the above statements is are correct. Let me tell you, friends, that only one statement is correct, and that is second. So the answer is B. That is second only. So Rabha tribe is mainly seen in Assam and Meghalaya, and Rabha language is is spoken by uh, them, and it is a member of Tibeto Burman language family. So certainly uh, uh, you can see that if the Burman language is there then uh, there, there is no question of uh, 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 it being uh, in Madhya Pradesh. So the Burman language uh, would be certainly close to the uh, Tibet, Tibet and Myanmar region. So answer is B that is second only. Now let's move to the next question. Next is article 142 of Indian constitution deals with A judiciary, B executive, C legislative, D none of the above. So friends the answer is A judiciary. So you might be aware of the fact that uh, president can uh, seek the advice of judiciary on certain important matters uh, that uh, that are important uh, that he uh, seems to be important uh, he considers to be important so the answer is a so most more this uh, about more you can read about in uh, uh, the indian polity book by lakshmi kant 
now let's move to the next question next is hs code seen in news is related to a cyber attack b uh, goods identification in export and import c machine learning d none of the above so friends answer is b that is goods identification in export and import so the ministry of commerce and industry has allocated a separate harmonized system code for khadi so india's uh, khadi is india's signature hand spun and head woven cloth that was made iconic by mahatma gandhi during the freedom struggle so the move is expected to boost khadi exports in the coming year so earlier uh, khadi did not have its exclusive hs code so harmonized system <coughs> or simply hs code is a six digit identification code so of six digits the first two denote the hs chapter and the next two give the hs heading and the last two give the hs subheading so it has been developed by world customs organization called the universal economic language for goods so it is a multi purpose international product nomenclature the system currently comprises around 5000 community groups so more details you can uh, read by pausing the video now let's move to the next question of the day next is consider the following statements related to fall army worm first it is native to the tropic or native of the tropical and subtropical regions of the americas second it affects only the maize crop so friends we have to choose that which of the above statements is are correct let me tell you friends that only one statement is correct and that is first so answer should be one only so proper precaution and timely management by the state agricultural department and awareness among farmers have succeeded in thwarting an attack by fall army worm on maize crop in odisha so background is that odisha produces 7 lakh ten, uh, 7 lakh tons of maize every year so coverage of maize has increased to 240 2.4 lakh hectare in 2019-20 from 2.28 lakh uh, hectare a year ago So fall army worm is basically a native of tropical and subtropical regions of Americas. So it was first detected in African continent in 2016. Since then, th then it has spread to various other countries like China, Thailand, Malaysia, and Sri Lanka. So the pest can attack it at least 80 types of crops, including bajra, jowar, ragi, paddy, wheat, and vegetables. <coughs> So in India, it was first reported uh, for the first time in Karnataka, and within a span of only six months, almost 50% of the country, including uh, Mizoram, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra, uh, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, and West Bengal have reported its uh, 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 fall army worm infestation. So it is very. Uh, what makes it uh, dangerous? It is basically polyphagous, so it has ability to feed on different kinds of food. So uh, and uh, and the net polyphagous, it it is the polyphagous nature of the caterpillar and ability. of the adult moth to fly more than 100 km per night so given its ability to feed on multiple crops uh, uh, it can attack multiple crops and it can spread across large tracts of land as it can fly over large distances now let's move to the next question next is which country has passed zero carbon law a australia b new zealand c japan d thailand so friends the answer is uh, uh, b new zealand so new zealand has passed zero carbon law bill uh, which aims to make new zealand reduce its gas uh, greenhouse gas emissions to the point uh, that the country mostly becomes uh, carbon neutral by 2050 so it gives uh, some leeway to farmers who bring in much of the country's foreign income so the bill requires all greenhouse gases except methane from animals to be reduced to net zero by 2050 Now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following pairs: first, cyclone Indian Ocean; second, hurricane South China; third, uh, typhoon Atlantic; fourth, Willy Willy Australia. So we have to choose that which of the uh, these is correctly matched. Let me tell you, friends, that only two are correctly matched. Uh, cyclones are called in Indian Ocean. Uh, so such storms in Australia are called Willy Willy. So the answer is A. so cyclones are uh, they, uh, in hurri hurricanes are called in uh, atlantic and the typhoon is basically in your uh, uh, western pacific and south china sea so uh, more details you can check recently cyclone cyclone bulbul made its uh, landfall and uh, uh, it is the highest in the last 34 years a record held jointly um, by uh, with 2018 so second storm to form it will also be the second storm to form in bay of bengal this year after extremely severe uh, cyclone fani in april may so more details you can uh, check by pausing the video so friends this is all about today's discussion of current affair mcqs so if you like this discussion then do ensure that you like it share it with your friends and also friends uh, if you wish to uh, join our telegram channel then you can join it uh, the link of which is shown on your screen and will also be provided in the uh, provided in the description box so in this channel we have more than 14000 subscribers that follow us and uh, <coughs> 
if uh, and you can also become part of them and can can have access to various public resources that we have for the purpose of csc preparation so this is all about friends today's video thank you have a very nice day ahead